The word democracy is derived from the Greek word demos, meaning people. Democracy is a type of government which is built by the people and works for the people. Quick, which is the largest democracy in the world? India. India is the largest democracy in the world with millions of people voting regularly in free and fair elections. Why do we need elections? Why is it useful? When a group of people have to make a decision and there are many options available, then an election is useful. People can select the option that they like and the winner is the option that has the most number of people who have selected it. For example, let's say you have two options, chocolate and ice cream. Now, out of 10 people, if seven people want chocolate and the remaining three people want ice cream, then according to the rules of democracy, the winner is chocolate. Just like this, elections are held in a democracy to choose leaders from two or more choices. The leader who gets the highest number of votes is elected and the others are rejected. And those who voted for the losing candidates have to accept the results of the election. In our country, there is a government body called the Election Commission of India. It makes sure that all the elections go smoothly and there's no cheating. The Election Commission goes to extraordinary lengths to ensure that everybody votes freely and fairly. Even the people living in remote corners of the country can exercise their right to vote. For example, in Gir Forest in Gujarat, the Election Commission sets up a polling booth for just one voter. Wow! It's as if the Election Commission is the exam invigilator for the whole nation. That is a massive job in a country as vast and diverse as India. Being one of the most diverse countries in the world is amazing. But it comes with its own set of challenges. When you put so many people from so many castes and religions and backgrounds together, conflicts are bound to arise every now and then. People are going to disagree about something or the other and they'll start fighting. For example, differences in religious identity have historically led to conflict in India. When you and your siblings fight over the last piece of chocolate, it can be resolved by rock, paper, scissors. But some conflicts are much bigger. I hate that I have to do homework. Why do we even have homework? Oh my God! It's a chocolate fountain! Could be mud. I had no idea chocolate fountains existed. I love my chocolate fountain. Your chocolate fountain? Wait a minute. I saw it first. Finders, keepers, losers, sweepers. No, I want it. Stop it, you too. No fighting on my land. Who are you, old man? I am the government around here. Why are you two fighting? Because it's my fountain. It's my fountain. Stop. I have a solution. By the power vested in me as government, I proclaim this fountain yours for Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Yours for Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. I'm okay with that. Wait, what day is it today? Sunday. Who gets it on Sunday? Me. Whenever a conflict gets too big, the government has to step in. It's like India is a school and the government is the principal. The principal can punish you! And the government can do things like that, but on a national scale. If a conflict gets too violent, then the government sends in the police to make sure that the law is obeyed and that peace is maintained. We also have a judiciary that can be used to resolve disputes and punish miscreants. If you have a dispute against someone, 
You can take them to the court and a judge will decide whether to punish them or not. If a person is accused of doing something against the law, they are even given the right to defend themselves in court. Democracy is a government of the people, for the people and by the people. A key feature of all democracies is elections. Elections ensure that leaders are elected by a majority of all eligible voters. This process ensures that elected leaders take decisions as per the needs, expectations and aspirations of voters. If they fail to do so, voters can replace their leaders in the next election. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.